You guys have asked me time and time again to create a tutorial series or a series where I build my own structures and I combine them both to make my very own series where we'll be building and covering a lot of awesome redstone creations as well as we'll be building our very own house. Let's get to it! Hey, what's up guys? My name is Damien and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're starting a brand new mini series where I'll be building my very own redstone modern house. Now guys, I read all the comments and a lot of you ask for these tutorials on the redstone smart houses. Unfortunately, if you guys are not familiar with my channel, I don't actually build these structures. I just showcase them and share them with my audience. That way you guys can enjoy as well as of course enjoy the maps that I like myself now guys I do have a small skill in building houses as well as redstone and I'm gonna put that to the test in this short mini series where I'll be trying to build my very own house and maybe in the future if you guys enjoy this mini series I will do a second house and make it even more complex and make it include even more redstone than this one all right so I have a pretty decent idea of what I want to build so let's go ahead and begin this now for modern houses we want nice sharp edges but what I want to do here is basically Basically outline my structure with the block and change up the floors and just build it from the bottom to the top obviously but um yeah basically guys I'm gonna be outlining stuff over here and uh, once I have the outline I will go ahead and break down places for windows and different structures and basically edges in the building so what I want right now is just a box so let's go ahead and just um, grab a bunch of quartz and well I already have quartz in my hand but place a bunch of quartz around the map and just kind of fill out our box maybe about five or four blocks high I'm not sure yet but we'll see in the future like I mentioned we're basically building it from the ground up and then we'll put our roof on the end of it alright guys so um, my goal in this video is possibly to finish the floor or the base level and then uh, maybe add in some redstone doors and just a few bit of redstone that we can you know just get the map started alright so I have the outline for my building let's go ahead and add some variety to these walls now on the right I want to add in a huge glass window and I'm gonna go ahead and break out the blocks that I need and then add in that design now guys just follow me and I'm um, kind of stick with me as I try this out now on this end I basically would add glass but on the outside I want to add in some oak wood slabs at the top section of our blocks and just bring it out and extend it all the way to the end and possibly we could extend our house as well so let's go ahead and um, maybe break one off there we go and add in a block of quartz over here that way it has a straight edge for us to kind of wrap it around all right pretty cool guys um maybe I want to bring it back one more so it's not kind of extending throughout the entire building and maybe on this side we could add in our kitchen since it has so much uh, exterior lighting all right so let's go ahead and uh, extend the top part there we go pretty small window but on the inside you can see that it will look a lot better I'm not sure if I want to put it at the bottom or at the top but at the moment I'm leaving it at this level and then we could go ahead and fill it in with our stained glass at the moment I believe I'm using the light gray stained glass and maybe in the future you guys can suggest a different color but at the moment I am playing it safe and using this color uh, just for the sake of um, adding in the structures at the moment so there you have it guys my section of this wall it does not look that amazing but in the future I'll be adding in other decorations of course you could suggest your own ideas and I will implement that into the map that's what the series is all about guys hearing your ideas and implementing it into the building as well as learning how to build a proper redstone modern house for myself all right so um at the front I would basically want to have um the kind of roof lower down there we go and possibly cut out a larger door we could go ahead and break that sign and maybe add in some glass in the corner so let's go ahead and just use our gray stained glass yet again just for a buffer and also I actually wanted to build a house using a resource pack and that resource pack was supposed to be flows HD so it's not too late just yet let's go ahead and select this resource pack and then um, see what it actually does to our structure all right guys so as you can see it does change a lot I know when I'm using regular Minecraft and I switch texture packs it's um, a little bit different on the eyes but you guys can get used to it in just a moment and um, I think it just looks a lot better with the texture pack to be honest 
honest. It's very dark, but um, we'll get used to it as we uh, progress throughout the um, you know, series. All right, guys, so here is our front door. Uh, our stained glass looks pretty cool. What I wanna do here is possibly add in a redstone door, and I will do that in just a second, but uh, what I wanna do is basically change our floors and design um, kind of the rooms and where they're gonna be. So uh, to do this, I'm gonna use my block of quartz. On this side, like I mentioned, I wanted my kitchen. So I'm gonna fly up over here and mentally kind of draw out where I want my structures and where I want my living room and bathroom and all that cool stuff. So um, what I actually want to do is add in some walls or hallways into my building. And I think that's pretty good because you don't want it to be too spacious and open because of course a real house is not like that. So I'm going to do it to the main center of our room that we have outlined. And then I'm going to just extend the walls that way we don't see across the map. And I could kind of imagine uh, how the house is going to be. So basically guys, I'm going to go ahead and split this up over here as well as over here. And then um, I'm gonna actually have my bathroom connect towards my bedroom. So what I wanna do is actually not have a door going in that direction, but blocking this off. And then I'm um, having a space right here and then having our bathroom area on this side, our bedroom here, and then the room or the door towards our bedroom and bathroom is right next to each other, and that's really the only way you're gonna get in there. And maybe add in a place for storage since this bathroom is kind of huge. So um, maybe bring it back a little bit. So that's my idea, maybe bring it back to over here. We don't need that big of a bathroom, and then extend um, our bedroom all the way up to there. All right, so that's pretty neat. So let's go ahead and just uh, change this. There we go, awesome. And on this side, I do have a cool idea for it and I will be implementing this uh, before we end the video. So here's the outline for our floor. On this end, we'll have our kitchen. And um, I want the kitchen to maybe wrap around this area, like over here and then have our living room kind of next to the kitchen because I love just having the kitchen next to the living room because I can just get up and get a snack whenever I want. So um, I want to have like the outline over here for the kitchen. There we go. Awesome. And then our living room TV could be right over here. So as you can see, I'm just placing it on blocks so I can mentally picture where I'm going to put stuff and then uh, we could get cracking at it. All right, so guys, uh, there we go. We have the outline for our building. Pretty simple. We'll add in modifications and whatnot and kind of fill in all this white stuff with actual decorations and blocks. Now, I do like the carpet at the center, but I'll, of course, have to change that. Maybe add in... Um, Various different colors. Now, I'm looking for two colors, guys. If you want to help me with that, tell me in the comment section down below two colors that mix very well together, that are not too harsh, and that are not basic. Maybe like a light green sand color or red sand color, as well as orange or something like that I can implement to the house. And that also fits together. So they have to be complementary colors, say like um, yellow and blue. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and uh, move on to this section of the map that I wanted to edit this house, I mean, and... um. What I wanted to add on this side was a indoor kind of waterfall stream thing. And um, basically it's like a line of waterfalls that kind of extend throughout the room. And I think they add in some very good, um, some good scenery to the building. So basically on the outside, it's not gonna look that good, but this is for the interior of the building. Now at the moment, I want to build this out of the light gray stained glass blocks. That's quite a mouthful, but um, yeah. So basically guys, I would have glass on either end of this. There we go, awesome. And that way I could see the water as it's falling down. And actually I wanna break the block at the bottom as well, so the water doesn't kind of uh, stop right over here. It has a nice flowing pattern. So what I wanna do is just bring it up to the top. There we go. I connect these tops and then have kind of glass surrounding the area. So I'm not sure what block is gonna go over here though. That's, uh, that's actually pretty confusing. Uh, okay, so basically I wanna just place down glass in this area so we could see the water and of course protect our room from getting flooded and also be able to see from the outside. All right, so I skipped a little bit ahead because I had to solve this problem on my own. I added an extrusion of the building, which basically, um, you know, kind of has the glass kind of tucked away on the inside. I added my waterfall as well as I kind of made it so the pillars are blocking the view from the inside. That way you don't have a direct view of the exterior of the building and it makes it quite nice. Yet again, I use my gray stained glass to kind of block that off. If you guys have another suggestion, you can tell me in the comment section down below but I think it looks pretty cool from the interior and the exterior and it just adds in a nice bit of variety to our building 
and we of course extended it uh, quite a bit to the left. All right guys, so as you can see on the front, I did knock out the places for my windows and that's where it's gonna just have a huge area where you can see in, have a lot of natural lighting and um, just make it modern and cool. It's gonna be tucked away by another extrusion, but um, it's still gonna be pretty nice. Okay, so for the front, I really don't have anything too special planned regarding the windows, but I do have a lot of stuff for the exterior planned out. All right, so what I wanna do is just fill this in. Yet again, nothing special, just some regular plain old glass planes or stained glass planes. And um, then we could go ahead and work on the exterior of the building as well as possibly the interior, which um, I think is gonna be the last part of this video. So it really doesn't matter at the moment. So as you can see, the building is coming together quite well. Now, before I end it off, I wanna do a bit of redstone and that's gonna be the front door. And this is gonna be pretty simple, guys. What I wanna do do is just place down two sticky pistons over here then place some sand there we go and then have this kind of push up and create our redstone door and we do this by um, maybe using another block to kind of activate that uh, let's see we could go ahead and place a redstone repeater over here add it to possibly three or four ticks I'm not sure what that is I believe it's three ticks and then um, add in some more blocks at the top I believe it's one over here there we go awesome and then we bring this down right over here and then we place uh, redstone powder over here at the top and then bring it around here. Awesome, and uh, place two redstone repeaters. And then also kind of, um, God, there's barely any space in here. Bring this up over there. And then um, I also need some other things over here which I can't even remember. All right, so I kinda wanna outline the structure. There we go, so our button has to be at the top, which is gonna allow us to open up the door. So I'm trying to make this in a very confined space. And I want the button to be right about, um, right about here possibly. Ah, it's kind of hard to see, maybe right over here. And let's go ahead and just turn off the rain because that is quite annoying. So what I need to do is actually, you know, bring it down over here because there's no way I could, you know, put it up to that level place a sticky piston there we go and then grab ourselves a redstone block and then have this area kind of extend down to this block so there we go guys we can just put our redstone right over here all right so right over here we want to place in a very complex kind of dropper system and what i want to do is just break down the blocks over here look above me place down two hoppers that are kind of extended downwards get out of this area replace our blocks destroy the top um, hopper have one facing my direction which is towards the sticky pistons and then have one facing up there we go and then have a hopper uh, kind of connected to this one area all right so i think i did that properly i'm not too sure but we'll see how it works we need a comparator i believe right over here and then um we need to have like a redstone signal going towards this block so i think i did this one too much so I, what i want to do is actually just have a uh, redstone repeater right over here hopefully that does not mess up the entire system but um, yeah, so let's go ahead and test this out, guys. I basically need to go back up to the top, hit this button, and then, um, oh, actually, I forgot one more thing. We need, we need an item kind of inside the sticky piston. So what I want to do is just, you know, place in any old item. I could just place down my cyanide wool, and there we go. All right, so there is our door. It's not extending double for some reason. All right, so I figured it out. What I actually needed to change was the fact that we have a block that's being powered over here. So basically, once this block gets powered and pushes up our piston, the piston then activates on this block, or the second piston activates on this block, and then pushes it up twice, and then we have that delay when it's coming down as well, so basically this turns off first, and then the second one has a delay of, of course, three ticks, and then it brings it back down to the ground. So basically, guys, this is how it works. And then we can go ahead and turn it back off, and yeah, pretty awesome, guys. So uh, let's go ahead and just fill this in with sand, and then replace our ground with our grass. And then we have ourselves a working piston door. Check that out, guys. That is pretty awesome. And it closes with the glass that's surrounding the sand. So there you have it, guys. Episode 1 of my series where I tried to build my very own redstone modern house. I'm pretty satisfied with what we got to do today. I added in my interior design or my plan, as well as I have some different decorations on the windows and my very own redstone door. And that's my first bit of redstone, but hopefully in the next episode, I get a ton of suggestions and a ton of new ideas to make the next episode even better. So 
anyways, guys, that was basically today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to take one second to smack the like button, leave a comment down below. If you guys want to see more of my videos, click on the annotations on your screens or in the playlist link below in the description. This was Twist, and I'll see you later.